I guess it's called white passing. Right. And I don't look necessarily Middle Eastern. I have a German name. I got the name for my father. But the moment people find out, until this day, it's weird. Because, in, you know, people start to examine your face to, to see if they, can reckon, <laughs> if they can recognize it. Elias was a German citizen, like, from birth, right? Sure. Except he has Arab ancestors, so to the normal, quote-unquote, standard-issue, uh, run-of-the-mill, box-standard German, it doesn't matter what his one parent is, he is at best half German, and that is the attitude Elias probably gets a lot from Germans who don't take him as a full-blown German, because we still have an ethnic identity assumption behind German. Something which you will hear on, on not just not just on AFD protests or something. You will hear this in your countryside pub pretty much every day when when I talk about uh, people with foreign heritage born here getting German citizenship. You will hear people like casually say, "Well, a mouse born in a in a horse stable is also not a horse." Yikes! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the test of German proficiency before you could be admitted to study, and one of our tutors being very adamant about Deutschland is kein Einwanderungsland. You know, Germany is not a country of immigration, and she yeah, was very, guess. very insistent on that. And we were like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's so bizarre because they're like expanding that onto firstly all Jews being depicted in one way, and then they're expecting that everyone flatten and not see Jewish people as individuals that can be different. That's exactly it. It is still collectivism. We still treat Jews as some kind of magical outgroup that now needs to be protected. In the past, it was to be prosecuted. It is still, in my opinion, not looking at people of Jewish heritage or identity as individuals who live rich individuals' life, sometimes good, sometimes bad, 